Did you hear uh, Nicki Minaj's comments about calling herself Harriet Tubman? Uh, I heard, I saw the statement. <laughs> I think Nicki is another one who knows what she's doing and likes to say shit to get people riled up. Um, again, Har Harriet Tubman, though, who, not who a, freed thousands of slaves. Not, a, not an intelligent statement, but it goes back to this narcissist you know, mentality of entertainers who feel like they need to say something of importance. They need to say something of shock value to make their fans listen. And she did exactly what she wanted to do. We sitting here talking about it right now. Yeah. And people, you know, you know, play stupid games, win stupid prizes. <laughs> I've never heard this before. <laughs> play stupid games, win stupid prizes. She was talking about how like Spotify was keeping her back and She's the Harriet Tubman of rap, like freeing. Nikki is wild, but I, I salute her. She's, she's, it's, it's the, the Grace Jones, Madonna mentality of like, I'm gonna shock everyone with what, like, look what she wears. Look what she did to her body to get attention. She's looking pretty crazy these days. Like, I'm just gonna have to say. And it's like, <laughs> and that, again, sometimes I'm like, yo, these are, these are my queens, but it's like, I can't, I can't judge. One, because I'm a part of it. I, I take, I'm, I'm into it. You know what I mean? Like, I'm at the strip club and want the fattest ass and we, we making all this. So if we've gotten to this point in society where we glorify women with fake butts and, and fake breasts, are we really going to be upset with the statements that they make? Are you into fake butts? I like the way they look. But not the way, <laughs> I hate they, the feel. way they feel. That's what I'm saying. It's like fucking a couch. <laughs> that's, that's what I'm saying. You know, and especially once you're a man of a certain power and status, you could find a real yeah, big you can ass. Find one. And, then, and now because they don't look real. Like that's the thing, like, and if we're gonna get into the details, you know I've studied this. I would much <laughs> rather a woman who's had a fat transfer to her butt. Even then, it's a bit weird. But even then, because it feels real and it's eh. it's from her body and it's not now this shit where they putting the fix a flat in their ass and like and it's deformed like that shit and they're all going like they getting their shit done in somebody's basement and all like that shit's wild like. But if this is what makes this woman happy, who am I to judge? Yeah, I mean, listen, I interviewed um, uh, Cardi B. Yeah, and she she got her ass done. I got ass shots because you know. In order to get lipo, where, you know, they put the fat transfer in your ass and your ass get bigger, you know, you need to have fat. And I did not have no type of fat. Like, I'm naturally skinny, and then me stripping, I was a, I used to, I used to, I used to get it popping in that pole, you know what I'm saying? So I had super six fat, six packs, no fat in my body. I had enough fat to put some in my ass, but I was, I was desperate to have a bigger ass and then almost every girl was going to this lady that was getting the shots in Queens and it's like well give me her number and hook me up and it's like I did what I did yeah I I know people yeah. super close to several women that I've dated that I have the utmost respect for have have plastic surgery and not just, like what's it or like if you could get silicone in your breast what's the difference in getting something in your ass right like I know women who have breast implants who judge women with ass implants or like now everything is like you got it uh your lip injections like right. i would never do my lips but i'll do botox or like or like like at some level like yo all i can say is whatever makes you happy and feels like the best you do that now it may not be my preference but if that's what makes you the best you in your opinion i can't knock it now do my question is do they know how fucking crazy they look like they are walking around looking like fucking bobbleheads and and like it just it looked crazy like well you know i mean kim kardashian is you know she did change the concept of beauty but she also changed she the up. acceptance <laughs> of plastic surgery and everything else and like made, that and that's because I, I mean did she have plastic surgery when you guys were dating nah we used to talk about it i used to tell her no like, oh, like you, okay. So you you were dating her before anything, from what I think. Like she never to me was she. She was always voluptuous. Me. You could you could look yeah, at old pictures yeah. of her in high and school that's, and, stuff I, like and that. That, it was phenomenal. Like people, it was like, yo, that's some different shit. Like for someone who you probably thought you didn't know she was half Armenian or whatever. Like yo, that white girl got ass. Right. <laughs> like that's yeah. kind of where you went to with it. Like I don't know what she is, but her body's 
crazy. Right. Like always been that way since she was, you know, a young girl. And I remember like she didn't like her nose. And I'm like, yo, you're beautiful. You just like, but this is this is they grew up in Beverly Hills where kids were getting plastic surgery before their facial features even fully developed. Yeah, in high school. Yeah, you know what okay, I mean? Okay, like, so so you're dating her allegedly before all her plastic surgery. That's what I believe. Yeah. Yes. And and she was saying I'm going to get what? She would talk about wanting stuff or being unhappy with certain things. And I'm like, nah, like, you good. Like, embrace your flaws. That's your character. That's who makes you are. Because I remember, and I don't, I still don't even know. Because, But I remember her nose, like, she used to have an issue because she thought she had, like, a more, as she called it, Armenian nose. And I was like, yeah. yo, that's dope. Like, that's you. And, like, you know, today, I, I mean, I wasn't there, but her nose does not look the same. <laughs> As well, her nose doesn't look the same. Her breasts don't look the same. Yeah. Her ass doesn't look the same. Her it's unfortunate, man. Look like the same. because uh, to me, that's all insecurity and, and not really loving yourself for who you are. That I who I have insecurities. We all have insecurities. We go to the gym. We do shit like we. Where's the line between taking care of yourself and vanity? You know what I mean? Yeah, I, I think the problem though. But what what ends up happening is that you know I know a few girls who. I knew them before they had plastic surgery and they had badass bodies. And right, I would right. tell do not do it. Do not do right. it. They're, and I would tell them, you're going to get it done and you're not going to be happy. And it's right. going to start, you're going to get on a train that you and can't you get off. can't get off. And sure enough, well, I just want to get my stomach done. Uh, they get it done. It doesn't look right. It looks a little ripply. It looks yeah. a little, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get another surgery. And then yeah. next thing you know. And they get used to it and they're addicted to it. They, they get and used it's, to it. And it's sad, man, because... I've been in that scenario too and you see like oh man it's actually it's almost like they're trying to keep up like father time is undefeated right so a lot of these women are happy with how they looked when they were 25 but now they're 30 35 40 and they want to still look how they looked when they were 25 how old is Kim now hold on she got to be about 37 30 37 yeah you you nailed it yeah she's 37 years old and and look at now look at her sister Chloe. Yeah. Who whose ass is looks crazy now. <laughs> right. You know? And then look at I'm, Kylie. Yeah, like what are these chicks gonna look like? And not just the Kardashians, because I don't want to so focus. What are all of these women who've gotten plastic surgery gonna look like in twenty years? Well, you know, what people are saying now, and I saw a couple posts on it, is that Nikki is really starting to look like Lil' Kim, body wise. Yeah. Like this new the like the VMA Nikki we just yeah, saw. Like we, her body looks very similar to Lil' Kim's now. Yeah. And Lil' Kim is like 20 years her senior. And that's the, the crazy thing because at this point, think about the amount of money that, that Nicki Minaj has. The amount of money that the Kardashians have. They have enough money to get the best doctors. Yeah. To make, and, and not to throw anybody else's business out there, but I know some very rich, wealthy women that go to the best doctors that you could not hell that they have plastic surgery like it's like this is like yo your doctor's amazing yeah, like like uh iggy azalea right think, right like her ass it looks good looks good it's not you know like it's still you can still it looks better than Nicki minaj's ass right you know what i mean For now and i think also too because it's like it's so interesting man because i see a lot of these women of all walk and when like i see them do the, the cheek injections yeah and, and these are women like, yo, you were beautiful last week. What's what the cheek? In, and when they get these injections from their lips to their cheeks, it swells up for a while. And then the doctor tells them, oh, it's going to go down. It's going to look normal, but it's going to make you look younger. And that's the whole, that's what these doctors are brainwashing these women with to tell them that they're going to, this procedure is going to make you look younger. They're not even saying it's going to make you look beautiful. I think they're not chasing beauty anymore. It's they're chasing youth because they're going to age. And that's way, that's the reason why plastic surgery is such a boom in business because everybody wants to look younger from yeah. tiger and safari with the hairline <laughs> right. to, to, to like, it's, it's, it's everybody's constantly chasing you. It's like even the thing with me, like, and even as, as, as non vain as I try to be, there's still this narcissistic, arrogant side of me that I have to be in front of cameras. Yeah. Like it went in movies and TV. I don't wear makeup. Like, cause it's like, fuck, this is me? I don't know what the fuck am I covering up. Like, I got, I was blessed with some decent melanin skin that I don't have to, I don't look blotchy and shit. 
I'm rocking with it. Don't put no makeup on me. But then every every once in a while, some makeup person's like, yeah, but those bags under your eyes. You look so tired. You know you could just go get a shot and they could click those. And uh, then I'm like, fuck, I got these fucking bags under my eyes. A nigga aging. But then I, I come to myself, like, the fuck, I don't give a fuck about no bags under my This is who I am. Yeah. Then I got bags, I was tired because I've been working. Mother. Like, it's like... But we get to this place, especially people who are placed in front of the public eye. They want to be this avatar, uh, like non-human ideal of what they think they should look like, opposed to just being who they actually are. 